Well, good evening and welcome to Victoria Stadium. Live match commentary coming your way this evening. It's match day three in the Gibraltar Football League. I'm Steve Brown, bringing you live match commentary from the stadium this evening. Let's take a look at the teams. Starting with Lincoln, relieved for tonight in goal. Number one is Garcia, two is Toscano, six is Lopez, eight is Valerino, ten Walker, 11 is Wampi, 17 is Blanco, 19 is Wanfre, 20 is Yaya, 24 is Sargent, and 66 is Brito. As for Glasses United this evening, they uh, line up. Number one is Pasqua, three is Fawn, 11 is Batista, 17 is Depedi, 20 is Clinton, 25 is Julian Brito, 32 is Burnett, 36 is Basile, 37 is Terzaki, 38 is Skura, and 41 is McCoy. Good evening and welcome to Victoria Stadium. It's match day three in the Gibraltar Football League and the start of another fantastic weekend of football action coming your way on the Rock of Gibraltar. We're live on the YouTube channel, that's uh, Gibraltar FA TV and also on the local satellite networks as well. And we're just about to get this game underway. Another big game for Lincoln Red Imps if staying top of the Gibraltar uh, Football League this season. 12 games played, 31 points on the board. Looking at the uh, the league as it stands at the moment. But three more valuable points at stake against Glasses United, who we know can uh, play some attractive football at times. And we're off. And it is Lincoln attacking from right to left in the first 45 minutes. And in charge this evening, Patrick Canapa and his two assistants of uh, Kieran Azapari and Adrian Carrillo. And the fourth official tonight is Timothy Rioc. Excellent win last week, but Glasses United coming forward. Looked like it took a ricochet. Well, Glasses United were looking for a Early corner there. But yeah, an excellent win last weekend for Lincoln. 4 1 against Lynx FC. Message of intent to the rest of the league. Change, uh, changing goal tonight. Garcia replacing Dale Colling. But also starts for Toscano and, and Wampi in the starting lineup and Blanco. The crowd inside Victoria Stadium Friday night at the start of the weekend a lot of football coming your way on Saturday and Sunday on the rock nice turn back to the captain Lopez looking at the benches this evening as for Lincoln Red Imps Ramarez, Ronan Cassiaro Kiki Gomez, Roy Cipollina, Nano, and Taruya on the bench this evening for Lincoln Red Imps. That's a testing one, Sergeant's going to have to deal here. Well, Garcia eventually came out for that ball. 
Jack Sargent was trying to guide the ball back. He was waiting for his goalkeeper to come. Burnett back to Pasqua. Looking for options. Going over to the far side, done really well. Clinton operating down that left hand side. We're in every tackle. It's well, it did look like Jack Sargent got a clean touch on that ball. Did come through his man, but certainly contact on the ball. Arguing his innocence with referee Patrick Canaper, but the free kick will be given. And it looks like he's in need of assistance. Looking at the bench this evening for Glasses United. They've got Brinkman, Fernandez, Victor, Andaluce, Issy, Vittorio, and Mann. Make up the bench for Benny Brinkman's side. Referee just having a word with Jack Sargent. As to why that decision was given for the free kick. Looking at the fixtures this weekend, tomorrow afternoon, 4 pm kickoff local time, St. Joseph's versus Europa FC. And then the uh, afternoon kickoff on a Sunday in the Championship group, we'll see FC Bruno's Magpies versus Lynx FC. So, some big games coming up in the Championship group. Of course, we've got football as well in the challenging group. Ball across to the far, far side. Nicely headed down. Good turn into space. Turns the key, was looking for the one two, but giving the ball away. And Lincoln come forward, ball over the top, looking for the run of Wanfrey. Done really well as one free operating through the middle. Usually we see the sight of Kiki Gomez, but not so much this season. One free has been leading the charge for the Lincoln Red Imps. Good interception. Brito on the ball, looking to get away from his man. There's room on the far side. Ballerino wants the ball. Of a player who seen a bit more play, Valerino getting a bit more game time than, than per usual. Yeah, yeah, spreading the ball. Toscano continuing the run. That patient build up again. Walker playing it into the feet. Oh, just every touch. The idea was right, he was looking. For the run of Wanfrey. Possibly just needed a little bit taken off that one. Oh, ball over the top and want to chase. Pasqua. Hooked in to put the ball out of play. Their first option. come back just tuning in seven minutes on the clock Lincoln Red Imps nil Glasses United nil match day three to roll to football league a free kick to Lincoln want to take it quick Oh, 
we all know what to expect now. Trusty left boot of Liam Walker. Looking towards that back post. Looking for the runs of light. The captain Lopez. Well, it's gone early into feet. Manfred was trying to turn on that shot too much to the Glasses United defence, but it almost came off. Kept in play. Nice touchdown by Walker. Oh, well shielded. Looking for the one two. Got the ball back as Liam Walker. Can he get a good delivery into the box? That's a good ball. Across it well. It's gone over the cross. Well, it, it still bounced. <laughs> Well, for a second, I thought the ball had gone out of play. Nervous times for Glasses United. And it was the captain, Lopez. Initially, I thought the ball had gone over the crossbar. But another good move from Lincoln Red Imps. It was a 1-2 with Liam Walker. Down Dirt Lopez. And unfortunate for Lincoln, couldn't direct it, goal bound. Good ball towards the back post, first time shot and a good save from Pasqua. Well, it was one free at the back post, it was brought down perfectly. But good pressure. Excellent ball towards the back post. Walk down first time, but an equally good save, closing down the space. And Pascal was able to put the ball over the crossbar. Fisting the ball out. Possibly could have held that one. Nice turn. Glasses trying to close them. Create a bit of space. Out to the far side. Well intercepted by Walker. Getting back doing defensive duties. That was a timely intervention there from Glasses United. They're living dangerous at the moment. But it is still nil-nil. Been a good start to this game. to this near side Glasses looking to get numbers forward Terzaki wants it player who we've seen quite a lot of this season certainly got the ability to unlock the door at the back for Glasses United Walker happy to Get back and recycle the ball and start again. Wampy on the ball. Switching the play over to this near side. Liam Walker in acres of space. Can he pick out the pass? Drives it across the face of goal. On the edge of the box. Nice little turn. A turn again. Going for the shot. And at the moment, nervous times in the Glasses United defence. Defending for their lives. A barrage of attacks from Lincoln Red Imps. Just need to settle things down. Ball into the box. There was a back post. Going to have to deal with that one. Toscano put in the ball. Oh, the play, but... Opportunity of a Glasses United just to settle things down, settle those nerves. A lot of pressure in their area over the last uh, five minutes or so. Going for the short. Tuning in. 12 minutes gone. Lincoln Red Imps nil. Glasses United nil, it's match day three in the Gibraltar Football League. 
We're live on several platforms. We're on the Gibraltar FA TV YouTube channel around the globe. And on several of the satellite networks on the rock. Pleasure as always to bring you the commentary. Live from Victoria Stadium. Looking for options. Probably the best to go. There we go long down the touchline. Just want the bop to form the end. That's a that's a tricky one. Go up the shot. Well, it was the tightest of angles, but Wampy was able to intercept. He was going to try and squeeze it in at the near post, but the keeper Pasqua was able to get his right arm to that, but not the best of back passes there from Glasses United, putting themselves in all kinds of trouble. One of the the things that uh, Wampy brings to the side, he, that speed and trickiness to cover the cover the pitch. Headed out, but Lopez has the ball back into the box, right across the face of goal, back. Well, back across the face of goal from Wanfrey. and Liam Walker going for the shot and a good save down to his left hand side from Pasqua. Well, it's all happening at the moment. A barrage of attacks from Lincoln Red Imps. And Liam Walker going agonisingly close. They were just looking to pick out that bottom left-hand corner of, of Pasqua's goal. But a good save. Twisting and turning. That's if United at the moment, they camp deep inside their own half. Just can't seem to get a passage of play together at the moment. There's Lincoln apply the pressure. Looking to pick up three more valuable points in their quest to retain the league title this season. Do need to settle things down. It's been a nervy first 15 minutes for Glasses. Up to this near side. A bit too much of that ball, but got away with it. Ball just running away. Seal Walker, little nudge around the corner. Ball is kept in play by one three and a corner. Give it on this near side. That first touch from Walker, just peeling the ball on the left hand channel, looking for the run. That's what Lincoln seemed to be good at. He's just Hitting the ball into the zones, knowing that their teammates are going to be there waiting. Couldn't get the connection. Seem to be picking out that near post on purpose, does Liam Walker at the moment. Might go along with this one. Looking for the run of Lopez coming in at the back post. Has gone for the same. Option again, but this time a goal kick. <laughs> Don't want the pressure. Got the ball back. Very tight in there as Rito gets the ball, he sli slices it through the middle. Burnett's going to have to 
deal with this. Giving the ball away. Toscano wants the ball back. Continued the run. Through the middle. Ball onto this near side now. Glasses United need to get bodies forward in support. Onto the free kick. Basile going to ground under that challenge from Lopez, but Linesman was close by. Nothing given. Header back, one all post. Header there from Sergeant, but it worked. On by Lopez, looking up to that far side. That's a good bring down, a pull back. On the run of Wampit, he will get the free kick. Nothing more. Through the middle. Looking for the movement on this near side. Rito coming forward, twisting and turning. Getting himself toward the byline, cutting the ball back. Well, it's parried down, first time shot, blocked again, gone back and they've got the goal. They've got the breakthrough. It's been coming for the last 10 minutes, but Lincoln Red Imps have taken the lead. There was like pinball in there, it came back towards Toscano. And as Pascal went to ground, he was able to chip the ball over the keeper to give Lincoln an early lead. It has been coming. There's been a lot of pressure on the Glasses United goal. And Lincoln get the breakthrough after 19 minutes on the clock here at Victoria Stadium. Started the move down the left-hand side. He continued the run into the box. He's able just to stab the ball over the top of the goalkeeper who had already gone to ground. And Lincoln coming forward again. Into space. Looking for the breakthrough, looking to play that ball through for Depide. Nicely headed down, but the flag has gone up on Liam Walker. Onto the ball, playing quicker. Drifting into a, an offside position. Through the middle. Seems to be a little bit of space on this near side. Looking for the run of Terzaki. Here's the man who seems to make things happen for this Glasses United side. Scored some influential goals so far this season. And if he gets half a chance, from what we've seen, he will put it away. Benny Brinkman, he's been, um, I can see him down inside his technical area. But quite a few new faces to the club in the... Uh, in the transfer window. First time hitting it long. One over the top looking for Brito. Race with. Oh, he's, well, he almost sat that one up towards the back post. When Wanfrey was waiting. It's a loose one. A little bit sloppy at the moment. Well intercepted from Blanco. He's continued the run. Head inside. Nice little touch. Quality football there. 
from the current champions. Trying to create those little pockets of space and making Glasses United do a lot of running at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Switching the play again over to this near side. Toscano's continued the run. Retos an option. Gone inside. Yeah, yeah. Going for the shot as well. He's driven it. He's dragged it wide. Found himself that little bit of space to be able to get the shot off. Had the confidence to take the shot on in the first place. Twenty-three minutes on the clock. Lincoln Reddings one, Glasses United nil. The goal for the left back Toscano on nineteen minutes that separates the two sides at the moment. Won't be coming deep, but losing out. That's good pressure. Good running from Glasses trying to. Just weave away from his man into the box. Frustration there. What he got away. Well, it's a worldy of a shot. Liam Walker trying his luck. Audacious strike from distance. So Pasquez or Pasqua off his line. He's given the ball away very cheaply at the moment, asking for trouble. The ball stabbed through and it just ran away from Liam Walker. It's a tackle from Burnett, but Walker wasn't able to control the ball. Well, that all came about from a mistake at the back. I can understand Glasses United wanted to play out from the back but sometimes that can get you in a lot of trouble especially if Lincoln are adopting the eye press might be on the ball nice turn finding the space Toscano, Ballerino making the run. Diagonal run across the pitch there from Valerie. Not seen, not seen too much of uh, Lincoln's number eight so far this half. Trying to get himself into the game. As they always say, if you've not yet downloaded or uh, should I say if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel that's Gibraltar FA TV every single game this season that is league and cup are free to view and you can also watch all the games back afterwards as well Brito cutting the ball back first time well I was looking for the first time shot from Liam Walker there he just took one touch too many but that was a fantastic pullback from this near side Lombrito. Glasses coming forward. It was an infringement by the referee. Rightly so. Allowed play to continue. As Glasses were on the attack. Played down, first time ball. Little pass back. Dipedian. Terzaki. Not able to put any kind of influence into this game at the moment, I'm sure. If they can get on the ball, then they can cause Lincoln some problems. Also Basile as well. Working through the middle. Closer, 
Need to close down. Yes, I was just going to say exactly the same. Could hear the shouts from the from the crowd to get closer because at the moment, every time Yaya gets the ball, there's nobody within five or ten yards of him. Pipe and slippers kind of evening for the uh, Lincoln number 20. But it is only 1-0, 28 minutes gone. It's match day three of the championship group. And very tight at the top of the league table at the moment. Lincoln Red Imps, Europa FC and Bruno's, FC Bruno's Magpies. It's a nice ball. Played out onto the far side. Looking for space. Being pushed all the way back to their keeper. We'll get a throw in. Good use of the ball. Plenty of room on the far side if you can see the run. Well, that's where the ball's gone. Oh, it's a heavy touch. Every touch there from Batista, it just ran away from him. He got himself into a good position. Good initial work there from Glasses. Calm approach, playing it out from the back. Switching the play. But Batista. First touch letting him down. No deal calling tonight and the if you're on the bench. Not quite sure what's uh, what's wrong with uh, Lincoln Red Imps number one. I'll try and find uh, some information out at half time regarding that. Glass is coming forward. Looking for options. McCoy turning back. You can see the the hand gestures there. He's looking for Options going forward. Glasses coming forward. Oh. Yeah. Ball running away. Under pressure from Lopez, but. Giving possession back. Too easily at the moment. Just for uh, tomorrow, as I said, St. George's versus Europa FC in the championship group. That's the afternoon kickoff from Victoria Stadium. And then in the evening, we see Lions Gibraltar versus Mons Calpe. That's in the challenging group. That's a quick throw into the feet of Lanfre. Blanco on the ball. Under pressure, but. Glasses do well. Pasqua opting to go long. Nice chest down there from Toscano and same can be sent for Lopez. To the keeper. Looking at the fixes for Sunday afternoon. FC Bruno's Magpies versus Lynx FC. That is a 4 p.m. local time kickoff and then the final game the uh, final game of match day three we'll see Europa Point versus College 1975 to conclude match day three run through the middle not edited out in the by the goalkeeper in the end he came right to the 
end of his uh, penalty area. Aware there that he would have uh, stepped out of his box and given the ball away again into space. Wanfrey looking for that corner as well, as cool as you like to make it 2 0. He found himself that little bit of space. He stayed composed. And you will not see a cooler goal all season. Finding the keeper's left-hand side to make it 2-0. And that all came about from Glasses United playing with the ball around at the back. They've done it on several occasions. I've been looking on several occasions, but not this time. It fell into the path of Wanfrey, and he made no mistake to give his side a two-goal lead. Benny Brinkman will be disappointed with that. The way that they've conceded that goal didn't need to happen. Can't afford to gift goals to teams like Lincoln Red Imps. Uphill struggle now. Real judge of character from Glasses United to get themselves back into this game. Plenty of time on the clock to do so. There has been a couple of unnerving moments where they've played the ball out from the back and they've been they've had the pockets picked and been able to rescue it. But Lincoln come forward again into the middle. Slotted away, and that's his second of the evening. An easy tap in at the back post for Wanfrey to make it 3-0. Breaking away down the right hand side, played across and just stabbing the ball beyond Pasqua to make it 3-0. Well, if it was a difficult evening, it certainly is now a free goal cushion for the reigning champions against Glasses United. And I'm sure that Benny Brinkman can't wait for the half-time whistle to come so he can get his side into the dressing room. Nice turn. Did it long over the top, trying to put pressure on the back line. Forcing the issue, but giving the ball away. Well, the whistle's been blown. Offside flag going up on Liam Walker. Fawn. Good ball into the box, but too close to the goalkeeper. Rito. Toscano, the scorer of the first goal tonight. Nice little turn there from Blanco there. Looking out towards the far side. Alarino coming forward. Looking for options through the middle. We stabbed that ball through, but good intelligent running. Bombito, but Pasqua able to come out and close down the angle. Played inside. And up a bit now. Brito into the box. He's looking for the run of Walker. Glass is just able to 
Get a touch on that. Nice little stab under pressure. Not quite sure what uh, what the cries were from uh, Toscano were there. Very comfortable at the moment. A few mistakes by Classic United have allowed Lincoln in. But it has been pretty much relentless pressure from the side in red and black. Play challenge. Free kick for Lincoln. There's a healthy crowd inside Victoria Stadium this evening for this game. Free to into the box. That's a good delivery right across the face of goal. Just a few inches behind play was one through there and he, he could have been collecting his hat-trick by half-time. Positive build-up again. Absolutely fantastic delivery into the box from this near side. They are come to ground there in that collision. Sure, he'll be uh, be fine. I'm just looking at the the games of the fixtures for the Rock Cup quarter-final stages. It was drawn in the week. All the information is available on the Gibraltar FA website. That's GibraltarFA.com. And the games to be played are Lincoln Red Imps versus Lynx, Lynx FC. Lions Gibraltar versus FC Bruno's Magpies. Glasses United will face Mons Calpet. And Manchester 1962 will face St. Joseph's. Dates to be arranged in due course. Toscano driving into the box. Brought down good strength there. Burrito coming across his man. So some tasty games coming up in the quarterfinals of this season's Rock Cup. Every game is going to be televised as well. That's on the YouTube and the satellite networks. Into the final four minutes of this first half. Lincoln Redimps lead by three goals to nil. Toscano with the first and then two from Wanfrey. Going to make it mightily. Well, certainly an uphill struggle for Glasses United to get themselves back into this game in the second half. Ball slipping out of his hands. Well, it is, yeah. He's dropped the ball. Those are the rules. Giving, ball, giving the ball away. Ball shielded there. Nice little turn inside. Good footwork there from... Valerino, can he took the ball back? Well, intercepted. Wanfrey was waiting to pounce on that ball. Trying to get themselves out of the trouble, but 
every time. They come up against the a Lincoln brick wall. Blanco coming deep. Yeah, yeah, it's just a seems to find that space and makes the game look very easily through the middle. Possibly going to see some changes as well in the second half and at some point. Going to Lincoln. Through the middle. Got a bit too much of that and gave the ball away. Free kick. Taken quickly. Born. But I say Batista with the ball over the top. Oh, nice play. If it can keep composed and keep the ball. Brito taking over. Giving the ball away. Trying to thread it into the feet of, of Walker there, but in doing so, gave the ball away. Glasses. Can they get one back before half time? Nice turn, little stab, wants the ball back. Wampi out to the far side. Overlap coming on with Val Valerino has continued the run. Plenty of room in the middle. Can he pick out a man? Into Wampe. Got the ball stuck in between his feet. Burnett with a tackle. Lincoln still have the ball. Misunderstanding there. But another positive build up. Quickly turning defence into attack. More threading the ball through and Glasses giving the ball away again. Nice turn from Blanco, threading the ball first time. Oh, and a good save. That was a fantastic save there from Pasqua. First time shot there from Wampet, looking for that far corner. But yet again, Glasses United giving the ball away too cheaply. How many times have we seen that tonight? You just can't afford to do that against this Lincoln team. I'm sure that that's going to be a part of Brenny Brinkman's half-time team talk. The way that his side have conceded possession. They have tried to make things happen, but the half-time whistle goes at Victoria Stadium. A 3-0 cushion as both sides make their way in for the half-time team, uh, team talk. First goal coming from Toscano. He was able to stab the ball over the top of uh, Pasqua. And then two from Wanfrey means that Lincoln Red Imps have a very comfortable lead at half-time. We'll be back in about 10 minutes' time to bring you second half coverage coming live from Victoria Stadium in match day three. But at half-time, it is Lincoln Red Imps three, Glasses United nil. We'll see you soon.
Well, good evening and welcome back to Victoria Stadium, where both sides are just uh, making their way out back out to the pitch. Substitution. Fernandez being brought into play. And also, just looking at the bench, Vittorio also going to be brought in as well. It looks like there's going to be a substitution as well for Lincoln Red Imps. Kiki Gomez looks like he's going to be brought into play. Fantastic uh, attacking options for Lincoln Red Imps. It's not one three, then it's Kiki Gomez and plenty of firepower in this side. And also <laughs> to add to the mix experience and quality of Lee Cassiaro as well fresh legs so where uh, one threat he makes way for Kiki Gomez and also Liam Walker looks like he possibly being rested maybe Lincoln think that they've Done enough to acquire all three points tonight. And we're off. If you're new to the Gibraltar Football League, Glasses United in the white shirts, claret shorts and the white socks attacking from right to left towards the runway end of the ground here at uh, Victoria Stadium. But Lincoln come forward, play back, first time shot. Well, he's gone for the shot and it's a good save down to his right-hand side. Back across the face of goal, well, the danger's not gone. An early effort for Lincoln. Could have quite easily been 4-0. Oh, and straight from the off. Applying the pressure, it came into the path of Wampi. He didn't seem to get the best of connections on that ball. But it was going in, it was creeping in. Down towards the keeper's bottom right-hand corner. Good agility in the end from the Glasses United number one. So Lincoln start the second half in the same vein and they finish this the first half applying the pressure search of more goals goal difference does always seem to be a major factor in the running towards the end of the season in the Gibraltar Football League. Free kick to Glasses United. Can they get some bodies into the box and apply that bit of pressure on the Lincoln back line? Did a good delivery. It's not a bad ball into the box. Well, the goals here has come for that. He's totally missed it. And he's put the header agonisingly wide. Well, I'm not sure where Garcia was going there. Came charging out of his goal. And completely missed the fly to that ball. Got away with it. That's possibly what Glasses need to do more of is get the ball into the box and try and cause some confusion for for Lincoln. Put them under a bit of pressure. Wampy coming deep, wants the ball back. 
Ballerino as well. Coming from a deep position on the right and switching over to left. He's continuing the run. He wants that ball played into the pocket of space over on that left hand side. Got the throw in. Little touch. Coming off uh, the Lucy, I believe it is, over on the uh, far side. Substitution at half time. All shielded out of play. Goal kick. Played out from the back. How many times has it been caught in possession? Are they going to pay the price? Wampi was looking for the, the space to let fly with his trusty left boot. Got to give Glasses United some mounting press. Uh, Surmounting respect for playing out from the back, but sometimes against teams like Lincoln, it is not the best option. This on with Burnett, done well, nice turn as well. And they're giving the ball away. Kiki Gomez, can he slide the ball in play? Well, he's, he's cut the ball back. He had an opportunity to put his laces right through that ball. Not quite cut, not quite kill, uh, cure what he, uh, what he was trying to do there. Bit of frustration from the bench. Then I wasn't quite sure what he was trying to do. <laughs> of a chance going begging, but that all came about from more confusion in the Glasses United back line, playing out from the back or trying to play out from the back. Getting caught. Lopez continues his run. Nice little piece of skill. Showed a bit too much of that one. Stamped out towards this near side. First time ball over the top. Cleaned up by Toscano. Score of the first goal this evening. If you are just joining us, just tuning in, maybe coming in from work or been out for the night. Three goals to nil. One from Toscano and two from Wanthre. Making it 3 0 at half time. Nice little touch. Continuing the run down the left hand side, powering into space. Wampi gets there and happy to come back, but just running out of pitch. Will be a throw in to Glasses. Looking at the goal scoring chance coming into this game. One three and four. Sastry three. And also Borge with two. That was just coming into the game, so. Healthy number of uh, goals, as always, from the Lincoln front men. Powering down the left, ball played inside. Over the top, but all cleaned up. All the way back to Garcia.
Nice clean ball over to the far side there from Ballerino. Under pressure. And yet again, giving the ball away. Out to the far side. Lincoln couldn't capitalise on that one. But the amount of times that this Glasses United side have given the ball away in defensive areas. Sergeant stand back to the keeper it's in this near side it's going to be kept in play Cassiano on the ball nice turn as cool as you like very composed player never looks flustered always Looks like he's got an eternity on the ball, does Yaya find space for himself and Burrito into the box. Burnett's going to have to clear. Picked up again by Lincoln. Moving it from left to right. Sergeant. Patient build up. And then all of a sudden, they'll spring into life and Kiki Gomez coming forward. Can he pick out the red shirt? Plays it back. Wampe. Yeah, yeah. First time shot. Charge down. Good build up again from Lincoln. Might need to get back now. Ball threaded over the top. Sergeant's going to have to deal with that one. Hooks it over his shoulder. Just running away. And Cassiaro. But another good build up. This time down the left. From Lincoln. Don't forget as well if you've not already done so. I know I. Uh, Mention it during the uh, the course of a game, but well, Sergeant gonna have to deal with that one while he puts it out for a corner. In the end, he was under pressure. Challenge on Valerino. They want to take it quick. First time ball towards a back post, and everyone standing still. Needed the anticipation at the back post. Glasses decided to take that. Corner kick early. Most of the players were asleep when that ball went into the box, but Fernandez putting the cross towards the back post just needed the somebody gambling in a white shirt at the back post and could have had one back. Cassiaro Valerino, yeah, the ball is still in play. That's a good delivery towards the back post. First time header and a good save on Pasqua. A fantastic save over the crossbar, but a wonderful ball from Valerino and an equally good header from Kiki Gomez. Bringing out a wonderful save from the Glasses United number one. That was a good move down the near side. First time ball from Valerino. The connection from Kiki Gomez was perfect, and so was the save. Towards the near post. Fantastic goalkeeping. Threading the ball through. Need support. A little shove, I'm not quite sure it was a 
free kick, but winning the free kick in the end. That has got to go down as one of the the saves of of match day three from Pasqua, keeping his eyes on the ball. Thunderous header, but still 3-0, 59 minutes on the clock. Lincoln come forward again, across the face of goal, easy tapping, well I, I was going to say an easy tapping. The keeper has managed to narrow down the angle. Gomez was looking just to slip the ball in at that far post. Might have chance now. Well, yes, he's made it for confusion again at the back. And you just can't allow players like Kiki Gomez that kind of room to stab the ball beyond Pasqua to make it 4 0 to Lincoln. Got the ball into feet and he's managed to stab the ball beyond the keeper and down in towards that bottom left-hand corner. Or nil to Lincoln. Might see a few more changes now. Well, as I said that. Roy Cipollina. Captain Fantastic being brought in and rightly so receiving the armband from Lopez. We haven't seen too much of of Roy over the last couple of weeks. He's been on the bench. Straight back in. In that trusty central uh, defensive role that he's, uh, that he's made his own down the years. If you are new to the Gibraltar Football League, then Roy Cipollina will be certainly a name that you'll be able to pick up on Wikipedia. He's not just the captain of Lincoln Red Imps, he's also captain of the national team. Well, Blanco giving the ball away cheaply then. It will be a corner to Glasses United. Chance for them to get some bodies forward and maybe get one back. We swung in on a footed, want to be putting this underneath the the crossbar. Went for the well before we're gonna tease off the first time shot. Blocked down. Trying to create the space. Oh, really does need to go into the box. Trying to walk the ball into the box and as they do. Lincoln almost come away, but good interception. Good defending there by by Fawn. Giving it to one bit. Looking for options. Slowing the game down. Dictating the pace of this game as they have from the first second, and that man is a major part of it. Won't be turning, digging it out his feet down the right hand side into Kiki Gomez, looking for options. Stabbed out wide. Valerino. Good ball into the box. Played into the middle. That's a another perfect delivery from this near side. Several occasions now that Valerino has delivered absolute quality into the box. Just needed side footing. Beyond Pasqua there him. 
could have been looking at 5-0. saying before about T mentioned it on several occasions during the game but don't forget if you want to keep up to action or keep up to date with all the action in the Gibraltar Football League then you can download the Gibraltar Football app it is available on Android devices ball played in Sally Wesson Android devices Everything you need to know. Pictures, team news, squads, all on there. That's the Gibraltar football app. iOS and Android. Good ball into space, yeah, flag. Vittorio just making that run. I think we're going to see. Turn the movement down on the touchline from Lincoln Red Imps. Could be seeing a trio of of changes now fresh legs minutes in the legs ready for the next game <laughs> round of applause for those taking part tonight Rhea, he's on. 22 in the middle of the park. Of a quality young player for club and country. Lorino trying to thread the ball through. Ronan as well. Keen Ronan, number four. Two players there in Taria and Ronan who are going to be massively established players in the national team over the next uh, five to ten years. Little nudge in the back. Played in defeat, the headers here. Playing the ball down the middle. Oh, nice little touch, but on and just slightly later with the with the run. Defending now. Lincoln pressing forward again. Not quite sure whether that should have been a free kick, but linesman was close to it on this near side. Class is hitting the ball long into space. Need to get reinforcements forward. Nice little turn. Can they get one back? Turns into trouble. Better pressure. Done well there. Wants the ball back. Movement from Batista down the near side, giving the uh, the give and go. 
Didn't quite come off on that occasion. To space. Overlapped coming. Need a good delivery into the box now. Couldn't beat the, fr the first man. To rear back defending, but giving the ball away into the box. It's Lincoln who were living dangerously at the moment. Also, almost smashed up into the uh, into the commentary uh, commentary box at the stadium. Twenty minutes left. Lincoln Redimps for Glasses United nil. Go clear at the top of the. Gibraltar Football League going into the weekend. Same before. Some tidy fixtures coming up. Every single game is free. Free to wear and can be watched on the satellite networks and the Gibraltar FA TV YouTube channel. Do subscribe. Over 5,000 already subscribed for the 2022-23 football season. Tomorrow afternoon, St. Joseph's versus Europa FC. And then the evening game, we'll see the challenging group of Lions Gibraltar versus Mons Calpe. And then on Sunday afternoon, FC Bruno's Magpies face Lynx FC and Europa Point versus College 1975. That is the evening fixture to conclude match day three. Certainly. Good afternoon, a good weekend of football fix coming your way. As Lincoln give the ball away, whoa. Could be a yellow card. Like Patrick Canapa, yeah. First of all, just giving the ball away. Lapse of concentration. Need to try and make these set pieces count to Glasses United. Try and get something from the game. Floated towards the back post. Good delivery. Ball is still in play. On the flag. Flag has gone up on the far side. into space he was trying to thread it into the right hand channel for the run of Lee Cassiaro Vittorio looking to come inside but giving the ball away Lincoln come forward moving the ball across to the far side Blanco coming deep, nice turn from Ronan. Cassiaro's in the middle. Acres of space is on his own. That looked to peel off his man. Gomez to feet. Nice little touch over the top. Bit of spin on that ball. It's taken a wicked deflection. 
going over the crossbar in the end. Plenty of, oh nice, nice composure there from Burnett, under pressure from Cassiaro. Giving the ball away again. He just can't afford to do that on numerous occasions. Cassiaro with a ball. Sits it up towards the back post. Headed down. Delivery was good. Just couldn't get the power on the header. Possibly mentioned it a good seven or eight times tonight. But Glasses United... Committed football in suicide by just gifting the ball to Lincoln Red Imps. Of a corner. Chance for Lincoln to send bodies into the box and try and find their fifth of the evening. Bit of a breeze inside the stadium, but uh, as you can see from the, the corner flanks, flies it in towards the back post. Played down, first time shot going for that top corner. Taken down first time. You could see what the intention was. He was trying to pick out the goalkeeper's top left. Plenty of pace on it, but always rising. Nicely chested down. Same again. Toscano getting his, his body in the way. Fifteen minutes or fourteen minutes, I should say. On the clock. Lincoln Redimps with a healthy lead. Four goals to nil. One from Toscano, two from Wanfret, and one from Kiki Gomez. Separates the sides. Manchester United still continue to push forward. Giving 100% as always. Stop trying, always pushing forward, but they do need to be careful that they don't. Leave gaps at the back. All tidied up. To the keeper. Going long. On Chester down. There he is. Ballerino. Keep ball now from Lincoln. Drive back into space. They try and shift it over to the far side. Good press from Glasses United, not sitting back. Got the ball back. Can they get themselves a goal? Flight it in towards the box. Cipollina applying enough pressure. Balls classes into an error and a goal kick. <laughs> a 
the glasses thought that ball had gone out, but line's been close by on that far side. Nice turn. Onto the free kick. Referee stood right on top of that. through the middle looking for that darting run Cassiaro working his socks off to try and get the ball back closing down the space of Glasses United but they've done well down this near side trying to get the better of Sargent into the box, headed out. Need to try and get the shot off. It's good footwork from McCoy, played into the box. And Lincoln clean up. But Gomez, nice turn, needs some reinforcements coming forward. That looks like, yeah. Late challenge there from Burnett, just no malice intended. It's a sloppy challenge in the end. Referee just letting the defender know that next one you'll be in the book. Making sure the wall is. Precise distance away. Blanco looks favourite. Valerino just moving away. He might want to slip it into the path of... Well, he's going to put it towards the, the back post, but... Too much on that. Where's the free kick in the end? 81 minutes gone. Lincoln will see this as a job well done. Now until the end of the season, it's just about picking up those points, making sure they keep those maximum points flowing right through the season. And allowing the other teams to always play and catch up. Wide open this season between Lincoln, Europa FC and FC Bruno's Magpies all putting themselves in the mix. It's for the fourth spot, that looks like it could be a race between St. Joseph's and, and Lynx FC. But all the sides in the championship group all capable of playing attractive football oh nice turn oh, that's a nice passage of play good play from Cassiari wants the ball back in oh he, well, you could see what Kiki Gomez was Attempting to do, he was looking for that back heeler into the path of Cassiaro to pick up the pieces with that continued run into space. Has been lively since he came on. Picking up deep again. Over to the far side. Through the middle. 
Cassiaro stabs it through. Oh, it almost crept through. Valerino with a shot. Oh, he's hooked it wide. He got the ball out of his feet. He didn't go for the drive in the end. He went for precision. And he was lucky to pick out the goalkeeper's top right-hand corner. Just put the bend on the ball. And unfortunate for Lincoln. Watched his shot go over the crossbar. Push back. Sergeant with a good push forward. Oh, it just, just eluded. Gomez there. Not the tallest of players. Lucky bounce for Glasses there. Played through the middle. Oh, nice turn. Stab back into space. Delia wanted it over the top. Well, the flag stayed down. Yeah, Kiki on the ball. See the you can hear the shouts from here. Just keep possession. No need to look for the. 20 yard passes, play them short passes into feet. Keep the ball rolling, keep possession. Could be seeing another substitution. Five minutes on the clock. Get some valuable game time for some of the Glasses United players. to change man is on go straight into one of those forward positions Got the ball now. Can they get themselves a consolation goal? Vittorio plays it square. Wants the ball back. Can he get the ball down? Oh, he, he wanted too much time to dwell on the ball. It wouldn't come down, to be fair. Plays the ball into the box. First time shot. Not the best of clearances from Lincoln. Giving the ball straight back to Glasses. Vittoria wanted to bring that ball down and it allowed Jack Sargent to close down his space. Glasses United coming into the game, played 12, 12 points on the board. As for Lincoln, a win tonight. We'll see them go three points clear. Of course, the other side's all playing during the course of the weekend, but what it does applies a bit of pressure to the likes of Europa and FC Bruno's Magpies going into those weekend fixtures. Well, Seemed like a fair tussle between the two players there. Referee saw it a different way. Final few minutes for Glasses to get a consolation goal. All brought down. times they have played 
some uh, reasonable football of uh, glasses, but not had much fortune in the in the final third when pushing forward. The lapses of concentration and the ball retention has not been the best, giving the ball away and conceding several sloppy goals. All shielded out. Yeah, the ball had gone out. Plenty for Benny Brinkman to dissect and debrief at the end of this game. I'm sure they'll watch the footage back and see where the mistakes came. Nice touch there from Carrier inside. Oh, he could have kept hold of the ball. He was too eager to release that ball, was the Lincoln 22. Got to get himself goal side now. Glasses towards the back post. Looking for the run of man. All shielder from Toscano, but Glasses still have it. Trying to pick out the back post. Nice header. Yes. They've got the consolation goal. Vittorio at the back post has managed to just cushion an header beyond Garcia to make it 4-1. Good finish in the end. It was a good delivery. And a cushioned header back across the face of goal. To get his side and earn his side that consolation goal. Need to stop his time now. Right on 90 minutes was that goal, so we are into additional time at the end of the 90. Lincoln will be disappointed that they have conceded. Good character from Glasses to continue. Keep prodding on, looking to get themselves something from the game. Over the top will be a throw in. Patrick kind of having another glance at his watch. Can't be long left, it wasn't too much additional time in the second half as Cassiaro driving forward trying to thread the ball through to Kiki Gomez but well there goes the final whistle from Victoria Stadium it has ended in victory for Lincoln Redimps by four goals to one it means that they will go to the top of the Gibraltar Football League of course, there are big games coming up this weekend. Tomorrow afternoon, it's St. Joseph's versus Europa FC. That's the 4 p.m. kickoff local time. And then the evening game, we'll see Lions Gibraltar versus Mons Calpe. That's in the challenging group. And then on a Sunday afternoon, we see FC Bruno's Magpies face Lynx FC. And then the final game of match day three is Europa Point versus College 1975. Hope you enjoyed the coverage this evening don't forget to subscribe as well to the Gibraltar FA TV YouTube channel and of course you can download the app as well that's Gibraltar football iOS and Android devices but from Victoria Stadium on this Friday evening it has ended Lincoln Redimps 4 Glasses United 1 we'll see you soon